close till I get up. Hey guys, welcome to episode three of AG Spill the Tea podcast series, where we talk about AG and AG tube related things and chat with incredibly hardworking AG tubers. This time I chose another AG doll lover out there, Purple Daksha and AG. Welcome to the podcast. Hi, thank you so much for having me. Before we start talking about Courtney Moore and her collection, why don't you introduce yourself and tell us some of the tell us about some of the videos you make? Um, so my name is Ariel, and as you guys know, my YouTube channel is Purple Docs and AG. So mostly on my channel, I do stop motions um, and all music videos, but sometimes I'll do hauls and other and other fun things. And I actually just came out with a summer mo- a summer stop motion movie. So. So what do you think of Courtney, like her doll, like the doll herself, itself? Um, I, I like her. I love the whole 80s vibe and style. I love her collection. Um, I do think she looks a bit like Mary Ellen, though. But besides that, I like her. Yeah, I think it's very cute. I did see somebody post on Instagram. I don't remember who it was, but uh, someone said like they took a picture with Courtney and Mary Ellen and she said they looked about as similar as Sonali and Gabriella. I guess that's a fair comparison yeah I mean yeah. I know the hair is different because the color yeah. so yeah like I know on the that website it looks like a strawberry blonde but I've seen like a lot of people saying that's more like a dirty blonde than a strawberry mm-hmm. blonde yeah, I can see that. Yeah. And Sonali and Gabriella also have the same eye color. <laughs> and they look very different. Mm-hmm. So what do you think of her collection? Um, I really like her collection. I definitely want to get some of the pieces, but, you know, AG is expensive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I really like the, like, shirt and tie, the little green shirt with the purple tie. Yeah. I like how they did a mix and match collection because they haven't really done that for any other historical doll. Yeah, I did actually like that, the denim jacket and stuff. That was cute. Because the only other mix and match stuff they have is the Truly Me one, unless you're counting Isabelle's collection. Oh, that's true. Yeah, they only really do the true meaning mix and match. So is there anything that you think AG should add to her collection? Uh, that's a good question. Um, I don't know, really. Uh, maybe like some sort of big ticket item that's 80s themed. I don't know what, really, but... Yeah, I think they should add... Have you seen, like, the either the creepy music video that AG has been making lately or the oh yeah those <laughs> or the movie that they made for her I haven't seen the movie or I started it but I never finished it and I have seen the creepy music videos I'm glad to see I'm not the only one that thinks those are creepy <laughs> yeah I think they should add like her spacesuit oh that would be cool Like, that's, like, one of the only things I can find in there that isn't already in her collection. Yeah, I didn't even know she was into, like, space and stuff. I guess yeah, out of the loop. Yeah. I wonder if they're going to retire Luciana if Courtney is kind of into space. Yeah, I was going to say that kind of overlaps on Luciana's, like, style and stuff. I hope they don't retire her. I like Luciana. Yeah. It's actually kind of sad because I wanted to get Flair's PJs, but that's mm-hmm. no longer available because I waited think- too long. Oh, so do you think they're going to get rid of Blair then? or I don't know. I haven't heard anything that they are getting rid of her, but I also haven't heard anything that they're keeping her. Mm-hmm. Is there anything you think AG should remove from her collection? Um, that's a good question. Oh, I don't really think so. I, I think I like everything that's in the collection. Yeah. I'm actually oh, well, currently... I think the pack is kind of weird, but besides yeah. that... Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually currently on the website looking. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Great minds think alike. 
Yes, exactly. Although the glass, the sunglasses look like they're very cheap plastic. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they were. Yeah, like cheaper plastic than what AG's normal glasses are. Mm hmm. Because you know, know those could be removed. They look like yeah. they could belong in the Truly Me collection. Yeah. Oh, I don't think anyone would really be mad if they switched it over to the Truly Me collection. Yeah, I don't think so either. Because <laughs> it's just like it's there, not like mm -hmm. her clothes or the lunchbox or her school supplies or anything. It's not like what you think of when you think of Yeah. Them. No, like the first thing I think of when I think of Courtney is her pink cheap plastic sunglasses. Exactly. <laughs> is there anything you don't like about her collection? Oh, I mean, besides the sunglasses and the fanny pack. Uh, yeah. How expensive it is, but I guess that's just American Girl in general. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's cute. I really do like the yeah. the sleeping bag set. I know you asked me about what I hate, but... Yeah. What I'm finding weird is that they have Courtney's Ultimate Collection, which comes with a few of her outfits, the dolls, and, like, the fanny pack, the flats, and the hair accessories for two forty five. And then scrolling down a little bit, they have Courtney's Ultimate Collection with her PJ set, a couple more outfits, and then... The school set. Yeah, why do they have two? <laughs> uh, one's called Tortney's Totally Rad Collection. <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> it's still basically the same thing. I just mean, choose your favorite. Three outfits. Yeah, just choose um, which yeah. three outfits you like. Yeah. Is so it a good deal? I wonder if you add out all the stuff up. Sorry, I don't know. I haven't <laughs> tried that. I remember when I got Cecile, they were having, like, a sale, so I was able to get Cecile and her pajamas together. I don't remember how much it was, but That's probably <laughs> less than Cecile and her PJs added up together. That's good. Yeah. AG should run more sales like that. Yeah. But, I mean, they're also doing things like that to get more... Like the ultimate collection. Mm hmm. Because I think they have that with Joss, I want to say. They prob yeah. I feel like that's the kind of thing they usually do for Girl of the Year. Yeah. Speaking of which, mm -hmm. do you think they'll have a Girl of the Year this year? Like for 2021? Yeah. And that's what I meant. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. I hope so. Yeah. I don't know why they wouldn't. Yeah. Well, we usually see leaks by now. That's why I'm, I, I don't know if yeah. you like to keep it a surprise, but I always, yeah, I like to keep Instagram. it a surprise. I, Sorry, I, I always end up seeing him on Instagram on accident. So. Me too. I and like, I to. tried to like not be active before Courtney's release, but it's basically mm -hmm. impossible. Yeah. Cause everyone posts it and they don't post warnings. I know. Yeah. And I'm always active. So. Yeah, I'm probably one of those people that doesn't do the warnings. I'm sorry. Yeah. And so then I have to take the sweetest time scrolling through my feet to make sure I don't see anything. Yeah. Gotta be and then I just have to, like, randomly guess and be like, all right, who do I think would be most likely to post leaks on their story? <laughs> That's smart. Though also what I do is I like to try and look away. From my phone. Mm hmm So what's your favorite item from her collection? <clears throat> I have to pick just one. I guess the suit and tie or the the shirt with the little purple tie, but I also really like the um the like school supplies thing with the little folder and pencils and stuff. Yeah, I think mine is the little Molly doll. Yeah, why is she in that section? Wait, in, I'm confused. In the truly me section? No, why does, like, under, on the page, why is Courtney's Pleasant Company doll? Oh. Because Courtney. Like she has a mini doll. Oh, yeah. 
I was a little slow. <laughs> I thought that was a mistake that that was there. I actually, when I was looking at, when I was scrolling through and I actually saw the links, I didn't realize that was Courtney's until Courtney actually came out. Yeah. Neither. Like, I was just yeah. like, oh, that's a cute picture of a mini Molly. Oh, that's kind of cute that they did that, though. I like that. Yeah. And that they got creative. Mm-hmm. Putting a AG doll in an AG dolls collection. They finally caught on. Well, I mean, they always had the mini dolls, but it's cute. Yeah. And it wouldn't have made sense in any of the other books. Right, because she's in the time when Molly came right. out. Probably. Wow, they were. That was smart of them. You know, I wonder if in the future, if they ever create like a 2010s doll. If they'd have, like, the girl of the year for that year or something. That would be so cute. Yeah. <laughs> like a mini Kanani doll. Yes. I love Don't Kanani. say Krissa, but Krissa was 2009. I love that you have that memorized. I always try to do that, but I forget what years they're on. Yeah. I think after, like, Kaylee, I uh, kind of don't have it memorized except for Jess. And then... From Krissa onward, I have it memorized. That's nice. <laughs> I probably have from Sage onwards memorized. Yeah. <laughs> Not that much. I also really like the spider print dress. Oh, yeah, that is cute. And the little jacket that they put with it sometimes. Yeah. Like and the pink flats that mm-hmm. matches some of the pink paint. I could definitely see myself getting that outfit, yeah. Yeah. Cute. Oh, wait, didn't they put it with the crops jacket? Oh, sometimes they put it with the denim jacket. I think I'm looking in the mix and match, match section now. Oh. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I think they've put it with both. It looks good with both. Oh, yeah. Cool. What's your least favorite item from her collection? Um, and probably the shirt with the tie or the like hair accessory set the one with like the scrunchies and makeup and stuff oh yeah the hair accessories one yeah the kit for the makeup set looks also looks like it's made of cheap plastic yeah I wish I could see them in person I'd have more yeah I guess the sunglasses. <laughs> yeah. And I was even like looking at the new mix and match as just like, uh, like, you know, those glitter boots that he came out with. You mean like the truly me one? Yeah. Yes. I know. It looks about. like that the glitter would fall off like five seconds after yeah, you unwrapped them. Mm hmm. Yeah, I don't think I really liked the Truly Me mix and match one this time. Yeah. yeah. I think it's kind of cute. Some of them, some of the pieces are, yeah. Yeah. I think if I had to choose the least favorite, it would be the one that they just had. What do you mean? The one that they released for the summer that was, like, super kiddish and had the kimono. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like that one either. Yeah, I bought the skirt from that, and the thing that I've realized is that it's super hard to pair with stuff. Mm, Yeah, I can see that happening. Like, I'm thinking on asking for the gold leather jacket and putting that with with a white shirt. Mm Mm-hmm. I love the gold leather jacket. I actually like that piece a lot. Yeah. Like, I've tried the skirt with several stuff. I tried it with the and it just, like, the way the skirt was made, it just doesn't look good with solid colors. Mm-hmm. Like the pattern or, yeah. Like, just the way the skirt was and the shirt that mm-hmm. I tried it with. So I tried it on the Western Chic one. Because it's like a tank top with ruffles. Oh, okay. Yeah. And that one did not look good at all. <laughs> Yeah, I can see that. Because of the way the shirt was made and the way the skirt was made. Mm-hmm. But it's currently p- paired with uh, Blair's 
gardening outfit top. I love Blair's gardening outfit. Yeah. I know it's off topic, but. Yeah. Thank you so much for agreeing to be on the podcast. Before we go, do you have any videos you want to promote on your channel? Um, I mean, like I said earlier, I just came out with that stop motion movie. But thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much for listening to episode three of AG Spill the Tea. And thank you, Ariel, for being on here. Make sure you come back next time to hear about more amazing AG tubers and AG news. I hope you have a great rest of your day and we'll see you next time. Bye.